Good morning, YouTube. It's Tolstoy Kafkaevsky here to pose this question. What would it be like living in a cube world? Well, you know, I mean, it could be. I, I don't know. Um, maybe. Um, okay, no. Well, whatever. The people at Radica Games had an interesting answer to that question. And their answer was this. Cube world. Stick people sticking together. All right, um, Cube World is kind of this LCD game device thing, which is kind of similar to Gigapets or Tamagotchi, um, except for they're all cubes. Uh, each cube contains a little stick person doing a variety of things in their own little world. Um, let's take a look inside the box. <clears throat> it came with instructions. The instructions basically say, fun, fun, fun. Alright. Now, I have bought... Apparently, they come in different generations. There's a whole uh, bunch of generations. I think they've gotten up to ten. And, um... Well, Radica encourages you to collect them all for a simple reason that I'll reveal to you in a moment. Alright. Now, I have a generation... You can't read that, but that says generation three. Um, and they each have names. This one's Toner. Uh, this one's Dash. Um, hmm. Well... Let's turn it on. You can turn it on by pressing this little middle button. And as you can see, there's a little stick person living inside the cube. Okay, now, let's see, you can press this button over here to turn on and off the sound. It's kind of a useless button. The sound isn't too annoying, so I just like keeping it on. He waves, and uh, he'll do a variety of things, again, inside of his little tube. Uh, he's farting right there, if you couldn't tell. And he's farting again, but on the other side. Fascinating. He's going to sit down in a Tai Chi pose now. The Lindian style. Alright, you press this button if you want to see your high score. And you can get a high score by playing the one little mini game that each cube comes with. This one's called Desk Jockey or Office Jockey or something. Get the little desk and you're supposed to catch these flying things in the air and staple them. So, let's try that. Oh, well, I missed, so I lose. Let's try again. Oh, I got one. I missed the second one, so I lose. Um, so my new high score is one. Anyway, um, oh, see, so you now he's doing something. He's going to his computer, and he's typing at it. Oh, but the computer screen starts to bite like an animal, and he runs away. All right, well, now, I guess you've heard a little rattling inside there. Maybe you have. Okay, and that rattling is a little motion sensor. One of the best, most fun things to do with these is to torture your little cube man by inverting the cube and thus throwing off his center of balance. I'll demonstrate. Oh, and he fell. One more time. One more time. Yes, dance, dance puppets. Okay, well, um, let's take a look at the other one. Same thing as before, this one is called Dash. He does some different stuff, too, but mostly the same stuff. Waving, farting, and, you know. All right. Going to sit in a little Tai Chi pose again. His game is about delivering a package without getting bitten by a dog that's running on screen. I just jumped over one, but I didn't jump over the second one, and he bit me. So my high score is one. Let's try again. Didn't leap over the dog, so I lose. Okay, once again, you can torture your stick man by tipping the... Cube, it's always fun. All right, well, you're encouraged to collect all the cubes um, and all the generations for the simple reason that you can see right here, they have three little magnet sensors, and when you stick them together, the cubes interact in interesting ways. So let's take a look at what happens when we connect these two cubes. Suddenly they are connected. Mm, let's see. Nothing yet. Uh, he's They're waving at each other, kind of beckoning each other. Um, it looks kind of like one of them is bringing over a package and hiding him in that box and pushing him into a corner. That's kind of mean of him. Well, the box comes back and the guy pops out. The only unfortunate thing is that the sensor, the, uh, what's the word, gravity sensor is disengaged during this mode, so you can't torture both of them at once. Even if I tilt it sideways, they don't seem to care. So, that's kind of sad. But that's the most fun thing to do with them. Anyway, you can see other videos of this on YouTube. People like stacking them like, you know, 
as many as 20, 30, 50 of them, and they're all supposed to interact, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a novel idea, but I, I feel that they actually don't do enough. I mean, I remember I was, I was like eight when the Tamagotchi craze, you know, first came to town. And I remember every kid had a Gigapet and a Tamagotchi, and, uh, Personally, I was a Tamagotchi fan. I thought Gigapets were lame because they were basically Tamagotchis, but Tamagotchis were alien and they could evolve. And then they had Digimon before it became a TV series, and that was kind of cool, and I played with those. Anyway, um, you still see the little cube men are doing stuff. Let's separate them. They both return to their own cubes, and they're both good to torture again. Let's see if we can torture them in unison. We Oh. Oh. Yeah. That is still fun. Anyway, so they don't really do too much, but, um... Well, I don't know. They're a cute, uh, desk ornament. They're a little expensive. For two of them, it was about $25, so... A little overpriced, but, I mean, I don't know. It's like if you live in an op work in an office building or, you know, go to school where everyone has one and you can all connect yours and kind of talk while they're interacting, that seems kind of interesting. So, well... That's it for uh, this review. This review is of Q-World stick people sticking together.